listener welcome to our video today we are dealing with biology form 2 we have questions and answers here for you i will request you to subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed question number b state the function of the following part of light microscope roman one objective lens uh, objective lens are used for magnification of images now, Roman 2, the function of diaphragm is used for regulation of amount of light falling on the object or specimen on microscope. Uh, question number 15, a particular food substance is, uh, is suspected to contain vitamin C. You are told which chemical would you use to confirm presence of the above named vitamin? What chemical do you use to test vitamin C? Uh, the chemical used is DC, PIP. Eh? That is the chemical used for that. And B, what are the expect, uh, what are the expected results of vitamin C? If vitamin C is present, what are the expected results if vitamin C is present? And this CPI is decolorized. Is decolorized. Uh, C give one role of vitamin C in the body, in the human body. Number one boost body immunity. Number two prevent bleeding of gums. And then the last one act as antioxidants. Yeah, that is the work of vitamin c in a human body you have a process you have a process here you have a piece of fat then that fat is broken down into smaller pieces you are told to name the process q above that process is emulsification emulsification breaking of um, breaking down of fat into small droplets B. Explain the biological importance of the above process. What is the, uh, the, the importance of emulsification? Or what is the importance of breaking down a fat into smaller droplets? This one is to increase the surface area of fat for easier digestion by lipase enzyme. C. Name the substance that causes the process named A above what substance is used for that that one is bile salts question number 17 the diagram below represent dentition formula of a certain animal you can see how it to look like this one is a skull and then you can see part x and y you are told number a identify the part labeled X and Y giving a function for each. X is canine. That teeth is called canine. Function is tearing flesh. This one is used for tearing flesh. Y, canasio tooth. That one you can see it there. And the function is slicing. You can also say shearing flesh you can also say crushing or cracking bones this is the work of the canasio canasio tooth um let's move to the next next question uh, which is coming here we have what is the likely food for the animal from which the jaw was obtained? Uh, what kind of food does the animal take? That animal take flesh because of the dentition formula that we have seen. Number 18. Is state one substance that is, is taken by active transport by roots and transported to the rest of the body parts? Is it one substance that is taken by active transport by route and then transported to the rest of the plant part? That one is mineral salts. 
Then identify one product of photosynthesis that is transported to the rest of parts of the plant. That one is glucose. You can also call it sucrose. Next, you are told the diagram below represents a plant cell that was subjected to certain treatment. This one is a plant cell and you are told it was subjected to certain uh, treatment. And you can see it here at the start of the experiment and you can see it how it looks at the end of the experiment. Uh, you are told account for the ship. our listener we are dealing with question number 19 at the start of the experiment at the end of the experiment you are told account for the shape of the cell at the end of the experiment answer is plant cell was placed in hypertonic solution to its cell sap it lost water by osmosis and became plasmolized that is the answer to that question question b you are told uh, draw a diagram to illustrate how an animal cell would appear if subjected to the same solution, hypertonic solution. At the start and then at the end it will look like this one. Question number 20. What name is given to difference in concentration of two areas which results in diffusion? That one is concentration gradient. Question B, what is the effect of the above in the rate of diffusion? What is the effect of uh, concentration gradient? Eh? What is the effect of uh, concentration gradient on the rate of diffusion? And the answer is the higher the ingredient, the higher the rate of diffusion. And then the lower the ingredient, the lower the rate of diffusion. Question number 21. You can see it here. Uh, you are told the diagram below shows a vertical section through a mammalian heart. You can see it here. Very well drawn with part labeled A, B, C, D, and E and F. And uh, for you to be safe when answering this question, you must be able to know three things. Number one, how to draw the heart, how to draw mammalian heart. Number two, you should be able to name different parts. Name different parts. And then number three, you should know which part has the the blend with oxygen and the other the other part of the heart uh, that has the the blend that does not have oxygen then you should be able uh, to know the flow of blend because they can bring a question to tell you to draw arrows how the blend flows in the heart they give you one mark or two also you should be able to know by yourself without looking at the book number two label all the parts and you name them number three know how bland flows uh, you should be able to know how bland flows and then you can do that using arrows and then the fourth thing that you should know is how which which part of the heart has the oxygenated and deoxygenated bland Question number A, name part labeled A, B, E, and F. A is pulmonary vein. B, left atrium, which is also called aurico. E, tricuspid valve. F, pulmonary artery. Then you are told, use arrows to show the direction 
in which blood flows in the heart and that's why we said you should be able to do that you draw the the arrows you can see how they are how we have drawn them here for you we are through with this video our listener and we are thankful that you've watched this video up to the end we request you to subscribe to our channel Thank you.